Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We have to traverse this bridge of Potoboos. This is kind of like the owl <laughs> bullet build challenge back in World 6. That you have to jump across or run across a bridge and avoid the enemies. In the other case it was bullet bills. And this one doesn't look like it's going to be hard whatsoever. Though these Potoboos are offset in their timing so maybe that'll make it a little more difficult or not. <laughs> Because when you collect all the toad balls, all the enemies in the screen just disappear all at once, so it's not any problem. And once you defeat one of these, you don't have to worry about the other two popping up on you for your one run across. So, yeah, let's just go right to the fortress. Oh boy, I'm so excited! I forgot what kind of fortress this is, actually, but all fortresses have a really epic feel to them. And I like my epicness. No, wait, I don't want that. I don't want that. Um, I'm gonna check over this wall here, just for the fun of it. No? Okay. We've got some giant fire bars here, along with some scrolling walls, chocolate blocks here. That might be a problem. Especially if I get trapped. Oh, fool me once! Yeah! <laughs> I was gonna say, especially if I get trapped between something and end up taking a forced hit from these fire bars. Um, do I want to go... Which side do I want to go up? I think it's the other side, actually. This wall looks suspicious. Ah! I thought it would actually be the harder way to go across there. Oh, it's just a power-up room. Can I get a... Oh, I could actually use that to run through the stage a little bit quicker. So I guess that wasn't a waste after all. I was actually aiming for a propeller mushroom, but did I really need a propeller mushroom when I already had one? I mean, come on, man. So I guess the usage of this star is a lot better than getting a second propeller mushroom, that's for sure. Um, if I were to go up here, nothing? Nothing? Okay. Just wanted to be sure. And we're going up. We're checking. Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to say, we're checking everything, every wall that looks suspicious. We're going to look for it. We're going to find it. And we will catch them all. Pun intended. Um, this is... Wait, 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 wait. Anything? No. Just, wa just want to be sure here. Um, it doesn't look like that there would be anything in those areas there. So I'm just going to move on and trust my instincts. Another reference intended. And... Wait, 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 wait. Aha! Door! Suspicious wall was suspicious, and my suspicions were correct. We've got a really fast fire bar here. I'm gonna want to go in the direction of those fire bars, just so I stay with... No, 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 no! Stay with the rhythm. And so I don't take a hit. There we go. No problem whatsoever. Even if I didn't have a power-up, I would say. Just go with the rhythm. You, you probably couldn't go against the spin of those things. And there's the last coin. That was not hard whatsoever, collecting all three coins. But yeah, I do remember this castle now that I've seen it. Well, excuse me, fortress, not castle. So that's probably why I knew what to, or probably why I knew what to look for in this one. And let's go face Kemek. Ooh, yes, Kemek. This is a pretty interesting boss battle, actually. Um, you'll notice that he'll make all these blocks move. And then we've got a really classic Magic Koopa battle here, straight from Super Mario World. Whenever a Magic Blast touches one of these blocks, it changes into a normal enemy. And that Magic Blast is not going to hit a block, is it? I, I wanted to use one for example. Come on, do, do one, please. You've got to be kidding me. It just went right, right in between all of them. Anyway, all you have to do is hit him three times and he's done. And transform. Whoa, a thwomp! And you'll notice that he appears in a very awkward spot most of the time. He's very smart, actually, at dodging where you are. And... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can, I can salvage this. Oh, yeah! Side hit for the win! And... Two hits! Two hits! This is wide open! It's wide open! Wide open! Ah, uh, it's closing up again. Uh, I really like the uh, abstract design of the blocks. You've got the square, triangle, and circle pattern moving across them like that. The PlayStation button pattern there. 
It's the classic Magic Blast pattern, again referencing Super Mario World, as I said. And, yeah, that's Kamek in a nutshell. A uh, pretty interesting boss battle, I have to say, actually. Uh, I made it look pretty easy there, but it actually can be pretty troubling. So, don't expect to have as easy of, of a time as I did there. Just be really patient and wait for your opportunity to hit Kamek. Anyway, this might be the dark stage that I was thinking of before that I said in the last part. What? Yes, I will save, thank what? you. So, it's either this one or two stages ahead. I guess we're gonna see. This one's definitely a water stage. And the water stage that I was thinking of that was really dark... Uh, yeah, this was the one, okay. Pick up this block. Boop. Try and follow the coins if you can. If you can. Um, I don't think there's any star coins to be uh, missing out on over here, so don't worry about it. But once you get in, in this pipe here... Strangely, this pipe you can enter without there being a block underneath you. That's usually a tradition in Mario games, that you can't enter a pipe unless there's a block one square below and right next to the pipe, uh, so, you know, you normally can't enter a pipe unless there is one like that. Anyway, the first coin is up over here. Look at the size of the lips on these lantern fish. I always thought they looked kind of silly there. At the same time, they look pretty ornery, but at the same time, silly. Anyway, I'm gonna grab another block here. Here's coin number one. Coin number two is in a blooper area. You actually have to hit a switch to release some bloopers. And at the same time, that releases the uh, accessibility of a coin. I can't take a block with me through this pipe, so I'm just dropping my block here. And there's another pipe you can enter without there being a block underneath it. Or a square or something underneath it. Needless to say, the gimmick of this level is light. There's jellyfish that, uh, and, uh, yeah, the jellyfish hurt you. Whoopsie. Uh, can you kill it? Yeah, you can kill a jellyfish. I wouldn't recommend it, though, because it makes everything pitch black. Um, here is the first, I mean, this is what I was talking about, the, uh, bloopers here. Hit this switch, it'll release all the bloopers, and try and kill off the bloopers if you have a fireball or an item or something like that to clear your way. And I'm gonna kill off, oh, fish attack! Oh, I didn't see that coming. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> um, those green fish you have to look out for, they kind of home in on you. Oh, I should have went down into that lower path. You can go around that block counterclockwise to get a power-up. Oh man, this looks really cool here. This, this area right here looks really nice. Um, the third coin is in this area. You have to weave your way through this really, really tight area here. It's really tricky to do, and there's an alcove off to the left side that'll contain the final coin. Is this ever- is this thing ever- okay. I was gonna say, is it ever gonna move back down? Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm getting thrown around here like crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Move back down. I think I know where it is. Over here? There it is. I, I knew it. I knew it when I seen it. I knew it was right near the end here next to this pipe. And... End is right here. I'm not even going to bother trying to jump up there. I'm just going to exit this level. And that's that. Oh, yeah. Mario time. Woo! So... Let's go to the next stage, which is yet another crossover of a Poto Boo. Oh wait, maybe it's not a Poto Boo bridge here. Um, no, it's only that one, okay. So uh, let's go to 8-5 here and get it started. Yeah, remember, as I said, there's no more secret exits to find, so uh, wherever you see a coin, just go ahead and collect it. Don't have to look for super secret exits as well, so you won't have to travel back through levels anymore from here on out. Um, this platform is just looking controlled like those uh, mechanical ones on ropes back in that one fortress. Um, once you're standing on it, uh, you get control over it as well as its direction as long as you tilt it in the right direction and whatnot. Whoa, whoa, poopers! I got myself kind of trapped there. That was my own fault. I was being a little bit too slow. So let's give this another shot. 8-5, as I said. This this one is actually pretty tricky to get all the coins in. Um, I'm just gonna try and jump ahead of that lava plume there, just so I can get a jump on the level itself. And, oh, nice going, PK Gam. Good job losing your power up. And I'm going to wait for him to go plop into the lava. And 
Surprise attack! Okay, I got that. Got the first coin. Forgot to commentate there for a second. I was more focused on getting the coin than actually talking. Which is what I actually should do sometimes. Is that uh, sometimes I focus too much on the game and then I, I stumble on my words and then other times I focus too much on t talking and then I stumble on the gameplay. It's, it's a balance issue basically when it comes to commentating when playing a game. It's it's because your mind is in two places at once. One is talking, one isn't, so you get the idea. Uh, it's a lot trickier to make walkthroughs at first than you think. It's really something that you have to get used to. Uh, just keep practicing on it and you'll eventually get it uh, through time, or maybe you'll just get it right away, or maybe you'll never get it, but uh, always have fun with it. Never take things too seriously. This is the internet, after all. The internet is never to be taken seriously, and I should have grabbed that bob on for that coin. Crappers! Because I could have thrown it at that coin down there. And I'm under a little bit of pressure here. Yeah, okay, I'll be back for that coin later. I'll remember that bob on when I get to it later. I knew I was going to take a hit there. Not the crows! Why the crows? Why are you here, man? Why? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is where I said that the crows can be really annoying sometimes. This is one of the times they can be. Because you've got the moving platform to keep track of, your movements to keep track of, the crows to keep track of. Whoa! And see, I almost just plopped right into one of those crows as I was falling down from hitting another crow. And this is gonna be tricky, this is gonna be tricky! Oh yeah, baby! So, that was probably the hardest coin in the level, unless you use a crow to bounce up to the coin. Ow! I was gonna demonstrate it by jumping on top of a crow, but oh well. Uh, there's only one last lava plume in my way, and plop over here, use the platform to get into this pipe. Just tilt it if you need to. And there's the end. I'll be back for the other coin in just a second. So hold on. I was out of key there a little, just a little bit. Okay, midpoint time. So that basically means I have unlimited shots at getting the second coin over here. So I gotta get this bob on onto the platform and into the coin. Yeah, baby! Not that hard at all. You can just kick it right into the coin or throw it, whichever one you would choose. And then you just have to make it to the end safely. You've seen that the stage wasn't all that hard to get through, even with the crows, the lava plumes, this platform. So, maybe I should just cut ahead, because I already showed you how to get through this stage anyway. And here we are! This is the end of the stage, and I think it'll be the end of this part as well. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.